Hi beauty, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Natalie Bay and I create makeup tutorials as well as beauty related videos. I also talk a lot about God, lifestyle and everything that will just help you in your life. So today's video is beauty related and I'm going to be talking about my curls and how to maintain natural curls and keep it healthy. So if you want to hear some of my tips and tricks on how I keep my curls healthy and so defined, then please keep on watching. I get to share finally some of my products and some of the things that I use to keep my hair healthy. Now growing up, I know there was a lot of controversy around curls, natural curls and all of that. When I was growing up, I just knew that straight hair was the thing, it was popular and everybody just wanted straight hair. Unfortunately for me, my hair was always curly, well now fortunately, but when I was growing up I was convinced that, you know, girls with curly hair need to straighten it or try and get it as straight as possible. I never really um, understood how beautiful my curls were until, uh, until it was a later stage in life, um, which was quite recent actually, uh, where I actually started to you know, embrace my curls. It's a huge journey um, and I don't know how far ahead you are in your curls journey, but everybody is at a different level. And this might be so funny like for some people who don't really know about the journey and really adapting to your curls and accepting what your natural hair looks like. So for some people, um, you probably have natural wavy hair or you probably have naturally straight hair. And hair is so important because it's like a crown. That is the crown that you get to wear every single day. So I'm pretty saddened at the fact that I didn't accept my curls and my natural hair at a young age. I was just convinced that you know straight hair was the thing and even though there are trends here and there straight hair curly hair wavy hair and whatever i do however feel that it's so important to embrace your natural hair so if you have straight hair embrace it if you have natural wavy hair embrace that sorry about the buds So yeah, if you have naturally wavy hair, then embrace that. Whatever if you have naturally embrace it. And I also didn't know how to train my curls. So it would always end up in this huge big ball. <laughs> Besides my hair being curly, it is also extremely thick. And it was even thicker than what it is right now. Um, I lost a lot of hair after having COVID uh, last year. So my hair is still so thick so you can imagine what it was before that um, so when I do leave my hair curly there's stages of the day where you would see my hair like tame and then it gets bigger and bigger as the day progresses and I did mention on my Instagram that with curly hair uh, it goes with the weather basically I know it's quite funny but that's the truth it's like super hot and humid your hair is going to blow up like crazy if you have curly hair so I had to just figure out how am I going to maintain my curls, how I'm going to, you know, really commit to wanting to keep my hair natural on some days. Um, I still like my straight hair and, you know, my different hairstyles. That's what hair is about. You want to play around with it, you want to do whatever. But it's important to be true to who you are. Wear it out a few times so that you can keep that curls, um, you know, bouncing back. Uh, okay, now for tips. I only learned recently that it is important to take care of your curls. So I just knew that you put treatment in your hair at least once a month, uh, you wash your hair, sometimes you oil it and you're good to go. So I didn't know that there's a whole other hair care routine that you have to do when you have curls. So with having curls, it's very different. The texture um, of curls require a lot of hydration yes hydration equals shiny curls so it's so funny but your body requires water and your hair actually requires that water especially when you have curls because your hair dries out even more when you have curly hair rather than having straight hair or wavy hair so funny i only learned all of this, these things recently and now i get to share it with you 
So if you've been wondering why your hair dries out so fast and your hair is just like your curl is not just locking into one silky curl um, and why it's separating a lot and it's not looking really shiny, it means that your body needs hydration, your hair needs to be hydrated, so the amount of water intake has to be on a very good level. So you must be drinking your water consistently and it will pay off. Besides just your body being hydrated and you know working from within, um, the few other tips and tricks is that you can keep a small water bottle on hand. Um, this is just to help you if it's like an extremely hot day and you can't help it and you did everything that you can but your hair is still exploding. So what you can do is use a small spray bottle. Now they sell this everywhere. You can get it at China Mall, you can get it at Discam, Cakes, wherever. Is small spray bottles. You can even make your own concoction and come up with a nice spray um, just to spritz over your hair and then run your fingers through. This will help tighten the curl and make it look better if it did open up um, during the day. Second tip is have a good conditioner, have a good shampoo. This is so vital in making sure that your curls are gonna be shiny, gonna be healthy. We're not only wanting it to look good, we want it to feel good and it must yeah, just overall be healthy for your hair. So I would definitely recommend doing a lot of hair masks, things that's going to really help the hair, the hair follicles, um, that's going to strengthen the strands of your hair. If you are not somebody who buys a lot of these things, or you're just a girl on a budget, I know I always look for home remedies and things that's going to help my hair overall. So yeah, you can do a easy avocado, um, hair mask at home there's tons of tutorials online on YouTube itself so you can definitely go and check that out another curl product that I've been using for a long time um, this is a nourishing shampoo now this is the my natural hair uh, nourishing shampoo it nourishes um, the natural and relaxed hair it has jojoba oil and shea butter so this these types of products I gravitate towards a lot because it's also not going to make my hair look good. It is going to help make my hair strong and yeah, it's just an overall health product for me. So that is why I really love this. Um, and this is also for natural curls. So your hair is going to look absolutely beautiful after you wash your hair with this. I also use this as a conditioner. Um, it does make your hair a little bit crunchy, but I don't mind, you know, just running my curls with a little bit of product. I generally don't like any curl products on my hair. I don't like the sticky feeling. Um, and to be honest, I haven't tried a lot of products, curl products. Um, so I can't really speak for a lot of brands. But as I go through it, if you guys would like me to try out a brand, leave it in the comments. I'll definitely go and check it out and do um, yeah, do a review on whatever curl products you want me to go and try out. And but this my natural one has been very good. I bought the tub. Uh, which is a little bit more uh, thicker in consistency but that is so good for like you know having a tight ponytail and or you can even style your baby hairs so I always love doing that I know it's super nice and cute so yeah it's a thumbs up for me so the reason why my hair looks so shiny today is because I tried out the Avon Advanced Techniques shampoo up to 100 percent instant high beam shine it has crystal light technology in it and yeah this is an ultimate shine shampoo so you guys i love this so much because it actually does make my hair super shiny so i washed my hair with it um and you can actually see how nice my curls are looking so it's not only for curls but it will also make your sleek and shiny straight hair beautiful so definitely check out this avon uh, product advanced techniques so the next product is one of my favorite products like I cannot even express to you how much I love it um, because I've been using it and surprisingly a lot of it has been disappearing for some reason because somebody else in this house also loves it which is of course my husband Wesley now this is the by black hair mask I cannot even begin to Tell you guys how good this mask is this product is so so good it has made my hair so shiny every time I apply this product oh my gosh and it smells delicious 
it literally smells like vanilla cupcakes like cupcake batter or something okay so this product is so good i will highly recommend if you're looking for a mask that is going to make your hair smooth soft silky healthy this is the mask for you i did put up a post um about a few months ago about how shiny my hair has looked the result speaks for itself um, this mask not only makes my hair sh like shiny but it also changes the texture a little um, so my hair if I'm not using a proper conditioner or anything like that my hair at the bottoms does get a bit rough but this mask really softens from the root to tip and a little goes a long way so I completely love this it's by Buy Black the link will be in the description if you guys would like to check it out and then the last product is the aloe vera this is the soothing and moisture um, aloe vera gel now this can be used on your entire body it doesn't necessarily have to be used for your hair I use it for my skin I use it for you know just like gentle areas you can use it for as a mask you can use it as a lotion you can use it for you know so many different things so you definitely go and check out this mask if you are looking for something with aloe in it this is a good mask to buy this is also in our shop so link below in the description if you'd like to purchase this one last product that I don't physically have with me but I loved it so much it was my first curl product that I actually bought and it's called Aunt Jackie's curl custard now that little bottle had taken me through my first part of my curl journey and it has went a long way with me um, I really love the consistency and for the first product that I tried out it wasn't that bad I actually really did use that a lot and yeah my curls just stayed so pretty and it really locked in um, I do however suggest trying out all of the different products and finding out which one actually suits your hair um, I know texture of curls is also different um, and my curls and your curls are also going to be different so how it wears on my hair and how it's going to wear on yours is completely different so my hair is super thick and the texture is quite intense and yeah it's thick and it's heavy so that is my hair for you uh, a little bit goes a long way with um, Auntie Jackie's curl custard so yeah it all depends on your hair texture and how much you need for your hair so go and give it a try and let me know in the comment section on what you think of the products that I've shared um, in today's video that is all of my recommendations I hope you did get some type of information out of today's video be more aware of your hair care and your routine if you don't have a routine then try and start up something simple nothing too complex and difficult for you always be cautious of your hair care routine and how you are treating your hair at the end of the day that is the crown that you wear every single day and you must take care of it hope you really enjoyed today's video as much as I did and I will see you in my next one